everyone, what's up today? How you doing? Thanks for stopping into MopiTrails.com. Today I'm going to um, probably plant these. I germinated one green pepper seed and one hot pepper seed. So I'm going to put those in cups today and get them under lights and see if we can get them going. Alrighty, we got our uh, <clears throat> green pepper. And I just checked this a little while ago and it looks like it's just barely, just barely starting to germinate. I don't know if you're really going to be able to see this very well. Sorry if you can't. There's a little tiny little white root or whatever starting to come out of that one. Then I checked the hot pepper a couple days ago and that looked like it had also started to, to germinate. Yep, this one's going good. Again, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. But here's your, here's your root development. So the hot pepper is started, so I'm going to put this in dirt, and I'm going to put the green pepper in dirt. And we're going to get these started. Okay, so here's our hot pepper. Here's our green pepper. <clears throat> I just got two plastic cups. I used them once, so they're already punched. This is just to get them started. I'm going to let them sprout, just seedling-wise in these. And we'll put these, once we get it going, we'll put these in the little jiffy greenhouse that I like. And then those will go until they get a little bigger as a seedling. And then I can transfer them to bigger pots. Now, why am I only growing, why did I only germinate one, you may ask? Well, as is customary with uh, MopiTrails.com, quick and dirty. I'm not trying to get any huge, huge thing going on that takes a bunch of time, a bunch of investment. What I want to do here, ultimately, is see if I can clone these. So I just did two seeds to see if they'd start. I'm going to get them growing once they get a little bigger. I'll snip off a little cutting and then I'll see if I can clone them. And then put those in buckets and see if I can keep some kind of perpetual growth going. And then you can grow your green peppers and your hot peppers off season. You know, in the winter or whatever, in a grow room, whatever. So we got our standard. I just use a Miracle Grow seedling starter. Get it about half full, pour a little bit of water in, get it, get it kind of wet on the bottom. Use a little saucer so if it does leak through, it doesn't make a mess in your work area. Let that soak in. And I usually just stir it up just a smidge, just to kind of muddy the muddy the base. Now nah, muddy, muddy's too wet, but just to kind of dampen the base, you know, and that gives the roots water to seek out. So it, in my opinion, it kind of promotes root depth growth. And the deeper the roots, the stronger the plants. I think. So anyway. I am really kind of interested in seeing if I'm going to be able to clone these. I think that's going to be pretty cool if I can, with one seed, make more than one plant. I think that's pretty cool. And then so I can make a good starter hole, I usually missed them. And that's it. You just make a little divot for your seed. And drop your seed in. Root down if possible. And 
and just kind of pinch the hole together to cover it. You're not adding a whole lot of dirt, you're not doing anything crazy. And there you have it. There's the hot pepper. Oops. This one's substantially. I started them both about a week ago. I'd have to look at the calendar, but it's been, you know, seven, eight, nine days. It's been a week. And the hot pepper took off faster than the green pepper. And if you let them go too long, they'll actually try to grow into your piece of paper towel. So I don't know how well you can see that. There's your root growth, so that goes down. I'll just pinch it over to cover it. Then they go in this. We cover it and then we set it over under grow lights pretty low. I will eventually put these in terrariums, but I don't want the top of the terrarium to be way up here so the lights are this far up because that makes your plants like want to stretch. Keep the light as close as possible. It warms it up and then your humidity keeps them moist. Because the grow light, just even your regular just little purple LED grow lights, create enough warmth to kind of want to evaporate so it keeps it, you know, a moisture, a humidity. It keeps humidity within the terrarium. That's what the terrariums are for, obviously. So we're going to go put this under lights and go from there. Okay, it's been about three weeks, just over three weeks, about three weeks, two days since we put these uh, peppers down. I'm going to take a quick look at them. Okay, here's our Wonder Pepper. Really not looking too bad. See a little bit of root root development through the cup. Looking kind of feeling kind of dry, so I think I might water that. Same with the hot pepper. But these are probably getting pretty close to either. This one's got a little better root development. There's a root. There's a root. Doop -doo. There's a little bit. So yeah, that one's looking pretty good. But these could probably go to bigger pots anytime. So there you go. Three weeks in. I've got some green peppers, just regular grocery store green peppers, seeds germinating. Once those sprout, I'll plant a couple of those. And then the whole idea of this is I want to get these big enough to clone and see if I can make multiple plants off a single seed. So. Same bad time, same bad channel. Talk to y'all soon.